Hello everybody and welcome back to another video of what if the United States of America got what they deserve. Canada too. Uh, Mexico I don't know. But they usually get the short end of the stick. I had to record this video one month ago but I waited for my new PC to arrive and it's here. It is also fast as fuck. So gone are the days that it took me 30 hours to make one single world conquest. Which by the way this video is a world conquest and also we just hit 10k subs. Like a a couple hours ago. So I'm gonna pretend like this is a 10k special video and absolutely ignore the fact that Tommy paid me 50 bucks to play this. So as you guys know Tommy already, that cheeky bastard, he likes to give me more unusual scenarios. So he made me play the Enclave Reborn mod and do a world conquest or what most Americans think the world is which yeah this is pretty much accurate maybe without most of those islands and they probably think this island is England the thing is same as with the Germany world conquest in the new order I only played this mod a couple of times a couple years ago so I have no idea what I'm doing I also didn't play any of the fallout games I don't really know the lore but I have an idea of what is happening in this world so let's Let's just fucking begin. So we got 14k manpower, that's understandable. We are somewhere in Nevada I think, in the middle of a nuclear wasteland, which is true both in game and real life. We also have 4 research slots, holy shit, only if I actually knew what the fuck to research. Most of the fun things look like they are blocked, uh, I also don't know what the fuck this is about, there is a lot of missing icons. Oh yeah, industry, I, I know this. Uh, let's go with uh, work as needed, why not? A little bit of manpower never hurt anybody. Horses? Uh, I cannot research them. This is the worst mod ever, 0 out of 10. What the fuck is this? You can still research your doctor in this one, damn. This is actually a very brave thing to do nowadays. Alright, we have 4 divisions. 4 of them are power armor, which I understood that is very OP. So I guess that's nice. Anyway, let's start our focus tree. It's very little for now, but it's gonna get expanded. Also, only 7 days. And look at this shit, this is what I call real speed, guys. Did you guys see that? Anyway, we have to select the difficulty, I think. You know what, I'm not very confident already, so... Uh, yeah, I guess a power trip is okay. And, oh, we have to hide from somebody, I know this one. I think I sent this on Tommy K's channel, like, one year ago or two. So, we will have to keep an eye on this decision. First focus is done. Uh, let's get three more divisions from this. Oh yeah, and if you guys don't know this mod, you have some kind of economy-based system. You are gathering bottle caps every month, and you can use them here to get a bunch of bonuses. I don't think any of those will help me particularly so I might just use them here. A world conquest is a lot of work and I am definitely not getting paid enough for this shit. So please in order to make this worth it consider subscribing to the channel if you are not already subscribed. Also you can check out my patreon in the description of this video. You can start supporting me for only one dollar. Thank you very much for listening to me and back to the video. Oh my fucking god. Why are there so many goddamn traits? I can't even choose between two of them. This is absolutely agonizing for my little brain. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna leave this for later. Let's do old soldiers never die. Is is this why, why, why Biden is so young for his age? Was he a soldier or something? Okay, and we will go with the intellectuals, because we want to play reformist. So far, I really like the sound design of this game. I do think those are actual sounds from the Fallout games, so they are cool. Just got more divisions. Oh my fucking god, there is so much to assign here as well. I am kind of scared to actually spend my PP, because I need it somewhere else. I think it's fine. I can have some leeway. I think I'm gonna hire the reformer. And damn, look at this. Tommy K is in the mod. And he's actually pretty good, so let's hire him. Hehe, <laughs> better call Saul. That's a funny reference. Because meth. Oh damn, one more research slot. That's nice. And the choice is here. Douglas Granite, of course. Our president, Joe Biden. Oh, no, wait, the other guy. Oh boy, I feel like a prepubescent boy on a cam girl site. I am terrified to click anything. Caesar scouts seeking new lands, of course. Oh my fucking god, there were like five events back to back. This is too much for me. Oh, daily compliance gain. I like that. Please fucking stop already. I think I will always get more manpower here. The beginning of a new era, my ass. God bless America. We didn't learn anything. We're gonna do this shit all over again. Oh no, guys. New mechanic just dropped. And new focus tree, damn. 
Um, I I'm getting overwhelmed. What the fuck is this? We are executing some guys. Okay, not really interested in that. Okay, this this is conquest or something like that. This is also conquest. Is the new Reno powerful? Uh, only four divisions. Should I go after them early? Okay, let's. Uh, um, I think this is important, so I need to finish this branch first. Let's do it. A bunch of new shit got unlocked. Of course it did. We also have the other type of land doctrines, and we are going power armor, of course. Oh. I can get multiple of those. Nice. Uh, everybody's betraying me. I don't even remember what I did. What the fuck? Those guys to the north of us are demanding me to pay them tribute. Man, get the fuck out of here. I am not your pussy ass bitch. Come take the fucking tribute if you want some. I will be waiting. Oh. I need to demote the officers and the scientists first. This is gonna hurt a little bit. Ah, yes, we're gonna execute people on false charges. Just like good old America. I'm glad to see that the democratic spirit of the Americans did not fade away. You know what, guys? I'm very glad that the new America is gonna be built on traditional values. A good old political assassination. You can never go wrong with that. And naturally, after a successful assassination, the best thing you can do is to purge the opposition. I have no idea where the fuck all my caps went. I think I had like 60k and they all just vanished. It might have been the invisible hand of the market or something. Scary shit. Okay, now that we somehow stabilized our little republic, I think it's finally time to start exporting our American signature product, pain and suffering. So we will declare war on the new Reno in 15 days. They only have like... 9 divisions, so it shouldn't be that hard. And let's reinforce the American dream. Also, yeah, it's wartime. I'm gonna try to just snake around the victory points. I think this should be the most appropriate tactic. Oh yeah, I'm melting those guys. Can I get an encirclement here, maybe? Oh, I got one here. I don't know if I should kill their divisions for experience, though. Ah, uh, well, I'm not getting casualties at all, so might as well. And they capitulated. There we go. Oh my fucking god, now those other fuckers are... Asking for tribute. Get the fuck out of here, bruh. Oh, this whole entire thing is not covered. That's not exactly nice. More fucking decisions, I don't know what those do. Oh, and I can finally start producing more armor. Don't mind if I do. I don't know what else I should produce, but I don't think I can go wrong with support equipment. Holy shit. Oh god, two entire focus trees got unlocked. I didn't even finish one tenth of what is here. I think I should core new Reno for now. Most of the trees are uh, locked anyway. I got 200k bottle caps from somewhere. Let's spend that shit. Oh, I cannot do any of those. I don't know who the fuck all those people that I need to have opinion with are. So let's do some of those, I guess. Ah, uh, well, let's get 18 weekly manpower. That will help me a lot. Oh yeah, this mod has achievements. And a whole fucking lot of them, Jesus. Yeah, I remember this. This was one of the first Hearts of Iron mods to have achievements. That's pretty cool. The new territory is scored. Uh, what? Excuse me? Well, if we were to redo this exactly how it happened, I should click this one and get rid of it in a bloody civil war later. But come on, th this is not cool. Ah, oh, hell nah. What the fuck is this? Don't you guys think this debuff is a little bit harsh? I mean, come on. So I let a group of people named the followers of the apocalypse settle in my land. I don't know what the deal with them was. I am sure that fans of the Fallout franchise will know, but they give me some pretty nice bonuses, so I'm gonna click them all. My production of advanced power armor is pretty slow so far, mainly because the lack of fucking resources that I am experiencing. I could get some of those advanced components from conquering shit around me, but there isn't that many around me anyway, so I am gonna get this focus that gives me a shit ton of them. Holy shit, this is a lot. Okay, now that we don't need to worry about that, let's prepare expansion. And I think the Modok are the weakest, so let's Let's go for them first. Only six divisions. Oh, wait. Their independence is guaranteed by the slags. Those guys. Ah, uh, well, they are even weaker, so I'm still gonna go after them. Well, that was quick, let's say the least. And those two nations only had 27k people, so not much to gain from here. And next up, we are going for the den. The den irrelevant raiders to the north of me. Hey, <laughs> hey, you, you got these guys because they, they want a tribute from me. Okay. What the fuck? Some other guy is demanding tribute now. 
It's those fuckers, bro, you are getting killed. You should probably mind your own fucking business. Those motherfuckers are really ballsy. I am gonna crush the shit out of them. I cleaned up most of my neighbors and now I was trying to build a bigger army so I can outright annex the vault city right here. Because they do have quite a sizable army and I don't really want to fight it. So I did queue up a lot of divisions. But now it seems that I have to take care of those motherfuckers. Well, finally got an opponent that actually has enough divisions to pluck the entire front line and I still just absolutely destroy them. Maybe I shouldn't have been such a pussy and choose the easiest difficulty. Well, I mean, it's good for mental health, but come on, we need a little bit of spice. But it's a little bit too late now, so it is what it is. So, it seems like getting an army two times the size of the vault city is a little bit hard, so uh, they just declared war on this little guy, so I'm just gonna declare war on them in 15 days. It's not worth the wait. There we go fortunately their entire army is fighting the war so they are not even gonna know that we're coming and that's about it that was fucking quick oh Fuck. I forgot I don't have player-led conferences on. Ah, well, I still got everything. Oh yeah, and I don't know if I said this already, but I am playing on Iron Man, of course. Because nothing can go wrong if you only got one chance. Remember that, kids. Also, this is getting a little bit ridiculous. I now need 410 political power to hide from the new California Republic. And... Uh, you know, that's that's a lot. I did look a little bit around my focus tree, but it doesn't seem that I can reduce the amount anymore. So I think I will have to shortly fight them. And they only have like seven times more divisions than I do. Which, yeah, it's a lot. But I'm also really strong, so I don't really know. So, uh, it's it's been some time. I've been doing whatever focuses I thought would help me to further my goal of conquering the world. Unfortunately, I just did random events and shit like that. Didn't got any war goal since I killed those guys here in Area 51. Those guys are growing concerningly fast and I am gonna fail to hide from the new Californian Republic. I only got 14 days left and I need 100 more PP, which is not gonna happen, so I will have to fight them. I only have 43 divisions. They have a lot more. My power armor is really powerful, but my infantry is not. So I don't know if what I have here is enough to defend from those guys, but I hope it fucking is. Because I don't know what the fuck else I can do. I'm not getting any more Gorgols on anybody, so I cannot get any stronger. I do have a lot of equipment banked, but I kind of miss manpower. And as I said, I cannot core anything else. So yeah, that's a problem. Oh, I think I can actually change to this one. I haven't changed any laws in a while. Because I was using all my PP to keep the bear in check. So yeah, this will help a little bit. I also want this guy. Should I maybe build some forts? or something yeah why not something like this to protect the core of my country uh okay so i think the time has come oh my fucking god we just declare war this is not good i think i might actually lose okay let's start encircling some shit there we go two divisions is this gonna be enough i don't think so well at least they are not attacking that's nice let's do this final focus from the infiltration tree or whatever the fuck that is i also did something in this city but i don't know how that works well it seems like i can encircle them pretty Easily, so this is nice. 4k dead already for the Californians. I only lost one guy. Those are pretty good ratios, actually. I am, I'm not complaining. Okay, so they started attacking. I see a lot of green bubbles. Which is fucking amazing. I can finally rest easy. I'm gonna keep encircling... Uh, Okay, one or two units at a time until they are no longer in a fighting capacity. I think that's the way to do it. They lost 7k men. They have around 60k more manpower, so it's gonna take a while, but I'm gonna do it. Okay, guys, you know what? This is not hard at all. I'm just, I'm just cutting through them. It's literally like going through butter. This power armor is just too amazing. I really don't know if it's just that good or I made it that good, but I am probably trying to get too much credit for this. So I think this is just how power armor should be in this game. I am almost confident that I can win just by battle planning, but I am not gonna try it. Those guys are already at 
24% towards capitulation with 18k casualties. So it's going great. Alright guys, so I think this is pretty much done. I killed half of those guys' divisions. They have 35k casualties. And Caesar's Legion just declared war on them. So I am just battle planning right now. This was an absolutely critical success. Alright, there we go. And I guess I'm just gonna take everything. It's only natural. Ah, yes. Big enclave. We now have 1.8 million people under our command. Can't wait to get the rest of them. Also, those fuckers declared war on me. So let's end their lineages promptly, shall we? Ah, yes, of course. Owning California actually makes your entire nation worse. Because Californians are not really okay. I actually never met one in my entire life, but I heard rumors. Alright, let's rebuild the nation. Oh my fucking god. Those goddamn Californians collapsed my economy. Jesus Christ, can I take it back? I want to go back to my desert and be an economical powerhouse. Life on the coast ain't good for you, man. Well, must be those clouds of uh, radioactive material. Finally got rid of those bottle caps. We are back to the good old American dollar. Oh, that's nice. We even got a little graphics change. Ah, it's the attention to details, guys. I really like a mod that does that right. What the fuck is this supposed to mean? <laughs> Why the fuck is Mexico justifying on me? They are doing it fucking manually. We don't even have a border. They finally got Texas back and now think they can push us around those fuckers they are crazy strong though I don't really know how this is gonna go but I look forward to finding out I was also eyeing up the Caesars Legion they have been fighting wars non-stop and they kind of are out of manpower I forgot about the fact that they have a faction though okay now Caesar is also going after us also manually justifying I do need to pump out more divisions their faction is pretty big but it's fine I can afford it. Well, I don't really need fighting divisions. I just need them to hold until my power armor gets through them. Well, I was gonna attack them anyway, so yeah. Oh man, Mexican naval invasion. That's fucking whack. Oh my god, they have so little manpower. I mean, that's something in this mod, but compared to me, they are nothing. Okay then, they are forcing my hand. I will have to do the port thing. Oh, I actually have some navies, I forgot about those. Oh god damn it, those Mexicans have fucking mechs, which are actually pretty strong. Well, they are no match for my power armor, but they still are something. They are not dying as easily as the other units in this mod. <laughs> I think it's over for everybody else. I got a shitload of special forces cap from this doctrine. Oh yeah, and I lost the port because I was 5 speeding. And this power armor is fast as fuck, boy. Look at that. And now the fuckers are no longer naval invading, of course. Caesar also pushed it out. He's not declaring war on me anymore. I think I'm gonna wait for those to be finished and then I'm gonna declare war myself. The divisions are trained, all the armies are in the position, so it's finally time to declare war on Caesar's legion. Let's fucking go. I'm just gonna battle plan, I'm not even bothering to micro. Ah, this is beautiful. I got power armor for days. Those fuckers are not joining though. I am only fighting those two guys so far. The 80s are done. They keep pushing from neutral territory, which is very fucking annoying. But it is fine because I got them. The front lines here are fucking annoying though. I hate those. Okay, I think all the front lines are covered now. Let's declare war on Caesar. Again, we should not have any trouble with them. Oh, and look at that. Mexico just became itself. Bringing back the old flag even. Oh, now this is interesting. Looks like the enemy of my enemy is the best friend of my dad boyfriend or how that saying was. The Mexicans have 400 divisions that they are gonna start putting on the front line and the thought of that scares me a little bit, not gonna lie, but it's fine, I think we got this. Neither Caesar or Mexico have much manpower, but at the same time Mexico does have those strong mechs, so I don't know. Most of the enemy army just got encircled here, here and here. Well, actually that is Caesar's legion army, Mexico has yet arrived to the front but yeah you get the main idea this is what casualties look like so far pretty good oh and I actually have an ally it's the Sinaloa cartel this is nice it wouldn't be the first time the USA allied with the cartels I'm not trying to throw shade or anything I'm just saying I am just about to take I think the second or the third Caesar's Legion capital 
they are at 69% that's nice I am only at war with three nations now it's going pretty well those are the casualties I did take quite a lot myself because Mexico just started fighting a lot and I also just set up the free Mexico which is shortly gonna reclaim the Mexican lands ah fuck no I didn't fucking pay attention and those guys pushed me all around. I got a lot of divisions killed and encircled. This is not good. I also ran out of infantry equipment and I cannot push any further. The Mexican mechs are just too fucking powerful, man. There are also 10 fucking million front lines. Look at this shit. I hate it. Whoever made this map is a fucking maniac. Oh my fuck. Fucking god, I'm finally done with this bullshit. I only have to clean up this shit now. You guys cannot even imagine how much of a headache this all entire shit gave me. There were just one million fronts and it was splitting up and my divisions refused to push. I actually cannot believe that it's over. It was just so fucking annoying to push. All I'm gonna do now for about one hour is do encirclements like this one until I reduce this number to 100 so I can finally push. Ah, that's relieving. Truly a beautiful sight. Those are the casualties by the way. Okay. Looks like I unintentionally capitulated the Caesar's Legion. And oh my fucking god, this is so ugly okay you know what just start pushing please don't waste a single second i want everybody to be pushing and i will take a power armor army to get rid of those guys i am finally starting to encroach on core mexican territory they are at only nine percent but i am pushing fast those are the casualties the mexicans are now under 100 divisions my infantry equipment is not recovering at all i am only getting less and less and i also started to lose other shit so equipment wise we are not doing very good but at least we are winning one of the absolute worst things in this mod is that when invading big countries like mexico for example you have no goddamn clue what states are their cores and what states are not and i'm just invading territory that i don't own like those are mexican cores and the states right next to them are not i only need nine more percent and i don't know where to invade they don't even have a core on mexico city for fuck's sake finally it's done. I don't know what the borders of the USA are. I'm a fucking European. Also, I do have a decision for Mexican reclamation, which in theory, I think it should give Mexico territory that I own, but I clicked it a couple times and it doesn't really look like it's working. So I don't know if I should just take everything, but yeah, maybe that's not very wise. Well, this is it. This is what I came up with. I don't know what the fuck happened here, but I, I took it by mistake. Let's see, this decision I think is the one that should give Mexico all it should have. Oh, it did work, that's nice. Okay, okay, so I have to say this. This mod is very fucking fun until you have to fight one of those fucking wars. It's absolutely horrible because of the fucking map. Because there is those pieces of shit of unpassable territory and those huge ass rivers that you cannot cross and your front lines just disappear and split and merge and your divisions don't push because your 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 order disappear and it's no i didn't have this much trouble managing a front in hearts of iron ever i don't like this at all Okay, so now that I am done yapping like a little bitch, from now on everything is just easy, I just have to clean up. I have a lot of war goals on little states here and there, and I'm gonna help the Dominion of Canada kill their enemy. Oh yeah, I created the Dominion of Canada, and I can demand the Canadian states to submit to them and feed them territory. We did it guys, a nation reborn. We are now the United States. Now, this is very cool, but I would like to get some more goals on those little guys I only got war goals on those nations and I'm afraid that justifying manually will take a shitload of time uh, they won't even let me do it now that's strange oh is this how I get war goals on everybody I just need to kill the Washington Brotherhood easy peasy oh they only have 100 divisions I thought 
they would have been weaker. Okay guys, so the Brotherhood was just as unimpressive as anybody else. I don't know why I have little pieces of Canada, but I did not do that willingly. I did clean up a couple more little states and currently I only have this one war goal on the order. So now I'm gonna start this focus which should give me war goals on everybody. I hope that's true because I am getting sick of this shit. I will very much want out. I've already been 9 hours at it. Doing this world conquest just a couple weeks before, I would have probably already been playing for 25 hours at this point. This is the best goddamn investment of my life. And and oh yeah, look at this. War goals galore. I don't think I need to do my focus there anymore, but I am still gonna complete it because I am a completionist. Also, we control all this fucking territory and we only have like 8 million people. This apocalypse was harsh. And with the Timberland about to fall, the entire west coast is almost done. We only need to take those guys out. Then it's everybody else. Canada is also moving on to clean up more people. They don't really have much of a success, but they are still trying. So at least it's more than Mexico does. They are just sitting here doing nothing. The entire south of the United States have been pacified. The only one rogue nation left is Costa Cafeinada. I'm gonna take them down together with Mexico. I also got Guatemala as my puppet from a focus. And all I have to do now is to get the northern boys. It's not gonna take that much more time. By the way, now we have 10 million people. One by one, my enemies crumble beneath the unimaginable force of the United States. After all this conquest, one single country remains, aptly named the Gateway, because with this we end our world conquest and we open the Gateway to the other worlds, like Europe and shit like that, if they still exist in this universe of course. There we go, the entire world is the Pan-American Alliance. Oh wait, what the fuck is the American Brotherhood and the Lawless Westland? Where the fuck is this? Okay, this country doesn't exist. Oh, and this one is, is the... Oh, okay. I'm gonna annex this real quick. Uh, let's also redraw the US-Canada border. This is ugly as shit. Why the fuck isn't it straight? God fucking damn it. And our focus tree is also pretty much finished. I thought I will get something after unifying the known world, but apparently not. Nothing here happened. Didn't got any new decisions either. There we go, got rid of the American Brotherhood now. So this was it boys, we restored North America to its former glory. We have about 12 million people, I cannot see how much Mexico and Canada have, but they are probably between 1 or 2 million, not that much. This was quite fun, not gonna lie, I am very glad I did not choose a higher difficulty, because I would have certainly lost against Mexico and Caesar's Legion. It also went really fast. We are barely 11 hours in and that's probably two or three hours when I pause the game to do something. So this was it guys, hope you liked it. Next video is gonna be a Romania world conquest in vanilla. It's gonna be very painful, I'm sure of it. Thank you guys for watching this far and as always I would like to thank my Patreons for supporting me every single month. Flossy, Tommy Leawan, Arctic, CJ, Madra, Devante, Thunder, Grongwegs, Windows, Mistake Edition, Gates Licor, Alexandru Catalin Damian, Blocky and Erika Mennerheim. See you guys later and until next time don't forget, your sins will not be forgotten.